So what you are seeing right now is my monthly log where I literally just put a nice line up the top and it's very similar to the original monthly spread by Ryder Carroll. I have read his book, I only got into reading his book a few months ago and I've actually been bullet journaling, this is my second year of bullet journaling. Um, so I've been doing it for a while, but only just now have I discovered the original method and I'm finding that the original method works really really well for me. So as you can see I list out the days of the month in the first page and then so if I have work, if I have an event, if I have a, an appointment or something like that, if I have a deadline because I'm <laughs> studying at TAFE, um, I will write that down in the monthly log. And I haven't always been good with keeping up with monthly logs because I've never been good at filling out calendars because they have those weird little box thingies and I find that they don't always have enough space and sometimes they've only got enough space to put, you know, one thing when in fact there are 10 things that you have to be at that day. I love having a busy life. No, um, I find that this method allows me much more freedom, much more, um, you know, space to write down all the crap I have to get done. And on the other side of the page is the task list. I am still trying to work out what to do exactly with this page because I find that I don't have that many monthly tasks and if I do have them they've probably gone into the future log and if they're in the future log they're probably an appointment, you know. Um, so yeah, I'm still working out what to do with that page. This is a work in progress kind of thing. Uh, let's move on, or not rather, to my mental health log. Um, but I'm going to talk about some other stuff while my mental health log plays because there's a clip at the end of this video that will explain how my mental health log works and how I have managed to make it work for me. So yes, I will kind of quickly not really address the fact that I haven't uploaded for a little bit, there are reasons. I disappeared from Instagram for a couple of months, there are reasons. You guys have been very sweet and I've noticed once I came back onto the Magenta Mayhem platforms um, that I've received a lot of comments uh, sort of asking where I was, asking me to upload, saying that you missed my videos, which is really really nice. And I've decided to try and come back because I do enjoy making YouTube videos. I just, yeah, I just, um, things happened and I will probably make a video about it, but I didn't want to come back with a video that's like, oh, why I left emotional, you know, I didn't want to have my beauty guru moment pretty much. Um, if you guys want to see that video, let me know, but if you genuinely don't want to see that kind of video because it's, I, I don't know, it's sort of just inviting drama when you think about it. If you don't want to see that kind of video, let me know. I sort of just wanted to come back and make the kinds of videos that I'm used to making, the kinds of videos that I like to make. Me stuffing around with a pen, literally setting up my bullet journal on my bed at 9.30pm. Like, I'm not, I'm not doing anything that flash. My videos are not the greatest of qualities. I've already worked out by now that people pretty much just watch me so that they can laugh at how self-deprecating I am, which by the way I am trying to improve upon because self-deprecation is my biggest enemy. Okay, we're on to the weekly log, I need to talk about this. So this is something that I tried last week, um, it's a rolling weekly and if you need to know more information, Plant Based Bride has a much more beautiful, more aesthetically pleasing video than I do, than I could ever have on this kind of thing. Um, and I will link it in the description. I have decided to try this because I realized that I needed a bit of space for a hourly log per day. Um, and this happened because I've realized that I'm just getting a bit busier, a lot busier, and I'm definitely trying to be more productive. Um, which some people may say, see as boring, I still sort of see it as boring, but I'm trying to get out of that mindset because I, there are things that I really want to accomplish in life, and time management <laughs> is going to be one of the ways that I accomplish them. Even though I'm not very good at time management, I think that I have improved quite a bit because of the kind of industry that I work in. I work in marketing, and in case you didn't know, that's there's, there's a lot of managing your own time with that. Um, 
Yes, but what I'm doing is I'm devoting one half of a page to a day. I've written down each hour of the day and I'm actually going to use an erasable highlighter to block out my days. That way if things change, if I have to go home early because I got sick at work, literally has been my whole week. I keep getting sick and having to leave work. I don't wake up sick. I wake up, I feel fine, I go to work and then I get sick at work. What? What is that about? I don't know. Anyway, I'll use an erasable highlighter because that's the one thing that made me stop using an hourly weekly. Um, I think I was still using them in January and February, but I stopped because I kept blocking out time and then something would happen and I would just go, well, this whole thing is useless now because it's in pen. Um, so yes, erasable highlighter. Potentially going to use an erasable pen too. Um, and then I have a section at the end of the day for any tasks or any notes that I want to make because I've found that making notes in my bullet journal is actually really useful for keeping track of things like, oh, I don't know, having to go home because I was sick at work again. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I didn't mean to come back cranky. I just, I, I had to leave work today at 2 p.m. Despite the fact that there was priority stuff that needed to get done because I was so nauseous that I kept having to take breaks from the screen because the screen was making me nauseous. It's driving me insane. But I'm still trying to be productive. Can't be productive at work because it takes me twice as long to do stuff at work, but I can be kind of productive in my personal life, right? Right? Anyway, the one thing that I forgot to do with this rolling weekly, I believe, in this video is, um... Actually, fold the page. <laughs> The middle page, there's three pages, oh three, yeah there's three pages to this spread. Um, and the middle page you're meant to fold in half so that you can fold it over, flip it, I'm going to link Plant Based Bride's video because I'm pretty sure she did a video on that, I'm pretty sure that's where I learned it from. My family's home. My family bought me chocolate. I love my family. <laughs> anyway, what was I talking about? I was talking about Plant Based Bride and the Rolling Weekly. I find that the Rolling Weekly is going to definitely add space to my week, which is sort of what I needed. Now, I keep seeing people who have a big ol' just a list, um, which I don't need. I don't need a super long list because that will honestly just drive me insane. I work a job, I don't, you know, I, I find that a lot of bullet journal people are self-employed and that is fantastic for them. They need that task list but personally I have a task list at work and I have a task list at home and that's how that system works for me I don't want anything anything work related in my bullet journal unless it's just you know go to work for six hours so yeah there is my weekly spread I and that is my bullet journal in general, I hope that you guys liked this. I'm about to play the clip of me talking about the mental health vlog. Um, fair warning, I actually filmed it late at night. So I sound kind of sad, but also just tired because that's, sorry, that's how I felt. I wasn't feeling that great yesterday either. Hi, I thought that I would quickly explain the mental health vlog because this is sort of a system that I developed, so it's not the traditional um, mood trackers that you see on Pinterest, but of course like I was inspired by them. So there's a box for each day of the month and um, basically each day you colour in the box with whether or not it was a good day, an okay day or a bad day, and then you have two lines. Whoop, this is gonna fall. Yeah, sorry, my um camera does not want to be stable right now. So you have two lines next to each, and on the first line you write the good things that happened in the day, and on the lower line you write the bad things that happened in the day. The rule is that you always need to write down a good thing. You don't always need to write down a bad thing. And this is designed to try and help create more of a positive approach to um, your week and your month, I suppose. Um, and I developed this because I was noticing that I kept thinking like, oh my gosh, I've had such a bad day and it's been such a bad week and such a bad month. But realistically, I was forgetting 
all of the good things that happened and I was calling a week bad because I had one bad day and um be warned that this will make you realize more of what a roller coaster your life is but it will hopefully help you to appreciate more of the good parts as well so yeah sorry I just thought I'd interject that because I thought you guys might look at this and just be a bit like what that looks really blank I promise it's not nearly as blank as this one it's filled out I would show you a filled out one but of course they're um they're personal so yeah um also I found that this is a really useful tool for therapy um I recently began counseling and as soon as my therapist saw this she was just like oh that's great that's amazing we can skip a bunch of steps and we can start progressing from here so um yeah if you're considering beginning counseling or therapy or anything like that um or even if you just are a normal person I'd honestly recommend most people try this because I've found that it helps and you know if it doesn't work for you that's okay but you know it's worth it to give something a shot um yeah so thank you I just thought I'd let you guys know about that and uh back to the video yep I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I I don't know, I kind of really hope that um, you guys are happy for me to come back to YouTube and I have actually filmed two other videos, they're of course yet to be edited and finished but I have filmed two other videos, I am definitely planning on returning to YouTube at least for a month. You know what, if we get to the end of August and I've uploaded a video a week, we're gonna celebrate. And you guys need to come up with a way that we're going to celebrate because I, I have no idea. I have no idea. Okay, cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.